What, best ride of the night? Best ride of the year? Yeah, it's uh, actually a time I finished from last weekend, but uh, definitely had a lot better, you know, uh, riding-wise this, this weekend. I got off the third and uh, felt really good and uh, got a good hole shot and, and was putting down solid laps at the beginning. I was thinking I was third for four or five laps, so that was good for me. And, uh, you know, just to be up there mixing up with them guys again, they were all behind me coming in. Um, yeah, you know, felt good, and uh, they just kind of, you know, they obviously have more speed than me, cross speed. So made a couple mistakes also in the middle and then got my composure back and, and uh, yeah, bro. Into eight, so I was happy with the night and my riding and everything. And looking forward to the break and then New Jersey. Hey, we kind of get to this point every year. What do you do this summer? Like, are we waiting for a fill-in ride call? Like, where, where are we at? I think this summer I uh, I might uh, get a real job. Okay. So we'll see. I don't know. Exactly are you laying concrete? Are we yet? doing roofs? Are we doing siding? Yeah, where my dad at? actually owns a concrete business, so I might be doing concrete. Who knows? So uh, yeah, fun stuff. But you know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, my plans exactly for summer yet. But uh, you know, I think I'll maybe be. I guess you could say no. Have some fun. Pretty good this weekend. How was it all day? Uh, yeah. Not so bad. Um, I still have some difficulty on, uh, on the soft track because I always train on uh, on alpha track in California. I always try and hard, so I'm struggling a bit when it's uh, it's wet and soft. But I improved all the day. Uh, I was feeling good. Uh, my main was uh, I had a bad start, so that killed, uh, killed my my race a little bit. Uh, I started really bad, but I was happy because for one time I, I came from the back and I have to push and I, I ride without less pressure than uh, when I, I make all short and ride in front. So I was happy about this and uh, and yeah, I make some good pass, so it was cool and uh, I tried to try to to stay with the uh, I was being was born try to stay with the uh, him, but yeah, I was. Uh, I, I still need a little bit of physical training and uh, and also constant uh, constant me on uh, on the super cross track when it's uh, one main event with me it's it's rough and, and uh, the track is breaking down. You've adapted well though. Are you surprised at how well you've learned this in like six seven weeks? No no because uh, that was my my plan my plan but my goal to to be top five the first couple of races and to be on uh, on the podium try to be on the podium at the end of the season but now I miss the podium the last two, two weeks and I uh, was close but it's like it. Uh, no I mean uh, I know to ride the dog like uh, I have a lot of experience on the GP so that's a uh, um, lot. One thing that you and I talked about a couple months ago was just like the culture of the United States. Has it been difficult or has it been pretty exciting for you to go to different cities in different parts of the country every weekend? Um, or has it been, been a challenge like not knowing a restaurant, a grocery store, yeah. certain things again? <laughs> For sure it's a big challenge because uh, we went to California, we never know, we, we never been in USA, we never know, we never know California, the lifestyle here there. Now every weekend we travel in different states and uh, we never know because we never travel in the USA. So yeah, it's a lot to learn and lots to, to, to adapt also. And, uh, but it's not easy. I, I, the the the, um, the state in the north of the country are pretty cold, so I don't like so much uh, when it's cold. But I mean, we try to do that. Uh, the the weekend in the weekend, every single so fast, you have time to do nothing. So. <laughs>